the need for speed. It's not even a car movie. <laughs> Now, let's go and have a look at it properly. Unfortunately, the property is empty because Dave said he had to go to work, but he left the key, and there it is. I'm not going to call him Dave. No one called Dave should own a truck like this. I'm going to call him Chuck from now on. This is Chuck's truck. Look at it, how brutal it is at the front. If this thing was in your rear view mirror, you'd certainly know about it. What about that gaping grill and this huge snout up the front? But it's all original. And here's that low bed. Look at it completely unused and that's no surprise really on one of these trucks i don't think anyone uses it to carry anything around they just use it to show off whoa look at this in here it's got alcantara in the middle lever on the outside like embossed srt10 very nice very nice indeed look at the size of that shifter wow that's a proper eight ball that is oh wow it looks proper this thing it really does right time to get it out on the road see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> oh, this is stupidly fast. It is absolutely ridiculous. It really is. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What on earth? What are they thinking? Can they come up with it? What were they thinking? I mean, are they crazy or what? Whoever buys it will have some pennies in their back pocket. So, if we play it right, we can charge top money. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, my well, God. Well, listen, it's loud and it's brash, and I wanted to turn up with a loud and brash attention seeker. That's an SRT. It's an SRT 10, son. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You do? How have you ended up with this? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I went out there on social media and I asked people, would you like to see an SRT10? And overwhelmingly, they come back and said yes. Of course they want to see this car. It is utterly bonkers. <laughs> right, you are going to absolutely love this. Oh, my God! I oh, know it's a race car in a pickup truck. It's crazy. The whole thing doesn't make sense. As a Brit, I find this truck utterly ridiculous, but what's most ridiculous is what's hidden under here. Now, this engine usually belongs in a Dodge Viper. You know, a Dodge Viper, that car that does 0 to 60 in around four seconds, 500 brake horsepower weapon. And in a truck, well, it feels kind of bonkers. <laughs> There's the clutch. Now, if you come this far, my advice is simple. Always replace the clutch. In fact, I've already sent Mike out to sort one. Cool. That's a big clutch. And that's the flywheel. Look at all these hot spots. I reckon someone's been having fun doing burnouts. In fact, that nasty one there, it's got Mike Brewer's signature all over it. And there she is. That's the leaky seal. Danger. Now that's a proper sized main seal. And think about this for a second. The crankshaft's rotating inside here up to 6,100 times a minute. There's a lot resting on the shoulders of this little puppy. Now the good news is a new main seal is only around $25. That's about 20 quid. Now before I slide this in, I just want to give the area around the crankshaft a really nice clean. I don't want to be pushing any debris in there. Once I've done that, get a nice liberal amount of assembly lube on the new seal. And this new seal's handy. It comes with this really nice plastic white centerpiece. And what that does, it helps guide it in the right location. And then it's a case of simply pushing it home, pulling that out,
This is a work of art. Mike has absolutely smashed it out of the park. Plus, he's gone one stage further than the factory fitment because he's gone and got me a dual disc clutch. Now, most road cars only use a single disc. This is an upgrade. Now, always use a bit of liquid thread lock on the flywheel bolts. You want them to stay in there. Now, I'm going to do those bolts up using a torque wrench in two sweeps. The first one, 45 foot-pounds, and I'm going to do it in a star pattern. That way, it seats evenly. Now, the second round's at 90 foot-pounds, and because that's quite a lot more, I'm going to need a lever bar to hold the flywheel steady. the oil leak and the clutch done. It's a shame the new owner won't get to see it. We bought the truck for $15,500. Removing the transmission and replacing the rear main seal, 85. New clutch, 1,500. Coil packs and spark plug wires, 355. Flushing the brake system, 60 bucks. New serpentine belt and tensioner, 165. New electric fan, 950. Kick shock and debadging of the truck, 520. Powder coated wheels, 500. Giving us a grand total of $19,635, around £15,000. All this done in 28 man hours. Time to fill up the tank and take her out for a spin. Go on, just say it. Really? Just say it. No, you'll get the um. Mike, just say the words. Seriously, you don't mind? Oh, for God's sake, just say it. I feel the need, the need for speed! That's not even a car movie! <laughs> Water, water, everywhere, and not a drop to drink. Excuse me? You know, it's the mariner's poem, isn't it? We're in a, a field of oil, yet we ain't got any. Yeah, I just wish you'd have filled up before we set out. I did. Oh. Let's go! Ah! What? What? What's happened? Brain freeze. Oh. Right. Blooming ice cream. You know this is the spinal tap of the automotive world. Just one setting, turn the volume up to number 11. What? Loud, it's loud, isn't it? This truck is a loud truck. Yeah, yeah, it is a loud truck. In fact, it was a beast when it came in, but now it is an absolute beast. It fits its blacked, murdered out personality. It certainly does, and I can't help it. I mean, I feel like I'm driving something possessed. It's all that power under my right foot. I just want to put it down all the time. Yeah. I mean, that is a noise! Yes, man! Makes you think, though, doesn't it? Makes you think what? How sore my neck's going to be constantly turning left? No, not that. I mean, it is going to be sore by the end of the day. It just makes you think how unlike a NASCAR this pickup truck really is. Wicked drive. I know, but wait a second, it's not all about guzzling all though. We have also saved one of nature's little creatures. A bigger bum? Well, there was a mouse in the front. What, he was living there? Was he eating stuff? Who are we to judge? It was probably quite a comfortable, cosy. I mean, let's be honest, if I was a mouse, I'd live in a Viper engine. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I think it's the most beautiful one I've seen. I love what you do with the powder-coated rims. I love the debadged look. It's beautiful. Yeah, we wanted to take the glitz and the chrome away from it and give it that personality. But not only that, we've done some incredible work underneath and it should be fun for many years to come. That's if you buy the truck. See, I've advertised it for $22,000 and I have got quite a bit of interest in it. So what do you think? I'd always like a bargain, but 
I'm not gonna let it go for 22,000. I'm not gonna work you on it. You want it? I want it. You just bought yourself a Dodge Ram SRT10. Congratulations. Beautiful. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure, sir. But remember one thing. What's that? Hold on to your license before you get home. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs>